Oh. Oh. What day is it? Oh my god. Oh, oh shit. We're streaming. Um <coughs> Got to get the dust out of my lungs. Hello everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Yay! <laughs> Woo, yay! <laughs> everybody uh i have a bunch of thank yous to get out of the way but first of all i think we had a couple special um uh, oh pals click on a certain something so i want to give a big thank you to louis Pupui. good job you did it yay and a big thank you to charlotte constellation Ooh, it was a good girl thank you for clicking on the thingy <laughs> hello everybody it's been too long Let's see if I remember how to do this. Probably. I hope I do. <laughs> Whoa, lots. Oh, okay. Good girl, Louie Boo Booey. Good girl. Who's a good girl? <laughs> Finally, I'm moving past. I'm, I'm moving past the GFE experience. I'm now, you know, something completely different. Something worse. Anyway, it's been a while. I missed you guys so much. As far as I understand, uh, we don't really have a lot of this episode left. So if we run out, I'm planning on just hanging out a little while uh, and catching up. Because it has been over two weeks. It's been over two weeks. I cannot believe this. How did I do that? Uh, well, the answer is because of the fires in Canada. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I couldn't breathe too good, and I missed you guys. I miss you guys so much. I miss streaming, and I'm happy to be back. The fires have gone. Yeah, the air quality uh, was awful, just horrible. And I'm not even in the worst of it. I just have little shrimpy, wimpy lungs. Uh, so before we get started, here's a bunch of thank yous. Thank you so much to Ollie Vivas. Thank you to Happy Mix Content, who... Hold on, everybody. You're gonna love this. We got some fan art from bam, 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 bam. Thank you, Happy. Look at this great fan art of Feng Fengu and Arlie Darkfire talking about farts and feet on the fluffy barrage. We did it. <laughs> we made content. Yeah, the Fartly crew. Fartly live on forever. That's our. That's our. Beautiful ship name. <laughs> you just add the T. Uh, and I also have another piece of fan art. Thank you so much to Storm. Thank you to D. Thank you to D for these awesome, cute, art like dark fire. You made my bajonkas humongous. Look at my huge old honkers. Very sexy. Thank you so much. I love these pieces of art a lot. I'll treasure them forever. They're living on the fan art fridge. I don't know if. Hold on. There. Wait, I, they're being blocked. They're fan art fridge. They're on the fan art fridge. Uh, <laughs> thank you to Legend of Boomba for that shout out. 13 days ago. Thank you to Obsidian Cyrix. Thank you to Masa Lucy. Thank you to Legend of Booba again. Thank you to Smokey Zone 21 for the follow. Thank you to Legend of Booba again for the shout out. And Tris the Dragon for the shout out. And Classic Carnage for the shout out. Thank you to Sins of Fina and Grim Shadow Blades. And Polar Stars for the resubscription. Here's a Hydration Station as well. I'm just rolling up the list, baby. I'm just scrolling. Ah, refreshing! Thank you for the confetti and the applause. Thank you, Ironbite, for the resubscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting my stream. And thank you, Power of Pints, all for the resub. I missed everybody. I really did. Sorry, uh, that I was gone for so long. I kind of blinked because I was feeling so crummy. And then it was like, oh, two weeks? Huh? What? Yeah, so... I'm not gonna make any more dumb idiot baby excuses. I'm just glad to be back. Let's play some scary games! Alright. Last we left off. 
Uh, anybody remember what happened? Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Last time we left off, uh, I broke a hole in the wall of some lady's basement. My bones were too old and shitty to climb a house, so I just went in the front door. And now there's a very concerned doctor. And now I'm breaking into her house. And then you pull her search for the peanut. A peanut for me not. My peanuts are getting kind of stale. I only have a little bit left, though, so it feels bad to, like, throw them out, you know? Ah! All right. I really have no idea how much is left. It would be very funny if it was, like, I click one thing and it's like, okay, the Avengers will be in, uh... Scarlet Hollow, episode five. That would be very funny. That'd be kind of like a funny prank to play on myself. Okay, it's not. Thank goodness. All right. This is wild. I have no idea any of this was here. An entire hospital wing rotting away for decades behind some flimsy drywall. His voice sounds distant. Your sole focus is finding it. Your feet move without prompting, and you stumble down the hallway towards the far wall, barely registering the antique clutter as you stagger past it. Whoa, are you okay? No, clearly not. You don't respond, and you don't bother to retrieve the axe. The wall is rotten, water damage having eaten away at the wood over the course of unknowable years, the planks nearly reduced to stardust. You tear into it. Crunch, 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 crunch. Whoa! Injured man. My favorite character from this game. He's back, finally. Enoch, I thought you weren't going to come. I was worried you'd leave me here forever. They said there's nothing they can do. I'll, I'll never abuse my legs again. Enoch, what am I going to do? Calm down, Teddy. These doctors don't know what they're talking about. I know how to cure not walking. You feel like an entire missing wing would be noticeable? It was walled up. It was behind a wall. Nobody's going to look behind one of those. How many walls in your house have you torn down looking for secrets, huh? You could have an entire wing of a hospital under there. You have no idea. I've been doing my own research, and I found us an alternative. I hope it's horse tranquilizers. We won't have to worry about anything from here on out. I promise. I went to talk with the witch. A uh, witch? But that's nonsense. I love this art style. It's all right. It's all sorted. We're taking you home today, and everything will be resolved by this time next week. Everything goes black. Your vision swims back into focus, and it takes a solid second for the two, second or two to reorient yourself. It's been two weeks since I read anything. Wow. You're in an unfamiliar bed. Reese leans against the far wall, eyeing you with concern and curiosity. Is this what this face is? Concern and curiosity? This, yeah, Arlie can read? Pog! She finally did it! This does not look like curiosity to me. Ugh. His grippers are out. And he's got a parasite figure! This guy's a fucking dork ass. Dork ass with bare feet on the- <laughs> on the TL! Yeah, I'm educated. I'm more- I learned my reading and writing. Thank you for the peanut, pants all! Thank- ah! Guys, you won't believe what happened. Not only am I out of practice for streaming, but I'm apparently also out of practice for peanut dispensing. I just launched like 10 peanuts into my lap and onto the floor. Well, I guess I'll deal with that later. <laughs> yum, 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 a peanut for me. Now, thank you, Pintzaw. Yum, 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 yum. Listen, I'm doing my bed. All according to Keikaku, was your fucking plan to make my room even more of a mess than it already is? 
Did you want? Did you want to make it even more messy? G fucking good luck. Look at my look at my pile of trash bags back there. Look at all my wires. I've got I've got plugs and plugs, baby. It's not gonna get any messier than this. We reached the pinnacle. How did you know you meant plan? Oh, I read it. Uh, a little speech bubble popped. A little like editor's notation popped up in the corner of my vision, and it let me knew that meant plan. All right, Reese, what you got for me? Hey, I was worried you slipped into a coma or something. You tore down a wall like a wild animal, found some weird carving, and collapsed. I think you might have had some kind of seizure. Are you okay? The mountain didn't collapse on us? No ghosts? How did I get here? Does Dr. Kelly know I'm here? You didn't call an ambulance? I had a vision. Um... Nothing spooky happened. I think that's the... Oh! Listen, guys. I'm, just, I'm still learning. It's been two weeks. Do you think I have... Uh, the memory capabilities to remember what happened yesterday, let alone two weeks ago? You think I'm aware of that sort of thing? No, I don't know how to scream anymore. We're in this together, guys. We gotta bolster our spirits. <laughs> no, this isn't Russ. This is Scarlet Hollow, dummy. TV ahead! Happy almost birthday! I will be starring... Well, not starring. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Talk about ego. I will be guest starring in TV Head Stream uh, later this week. I'm very, very excited. I know Puma's going to be there. TV Head, of course. And me and a bunch of other really cool people. It's going to be super duper fun. Everybody, please give TV Head a follow. Let me give you a shout out. Shout out. TV Head Dead. All right. Oh, ideal stream. Nothing but an extremely early close-up while we listen to me play a game. That's what I'm... You know they were that, like, VTubers are watching trend? I'm gonna do that now. That's me now. Loud early noises? Sorry for being loud. I'll be quiet. I'll be a loose. I will whisper for the rest of the stream. You can trust me, guys. I will not forget about this promise in two minutes and then scream into the microphone. Hi, Tris. Thank you so much for stopping on in. Don't be loud. Okay, well, if it's what the people want. Uh, nothing spooky happened? The mountain didn't collapse on us? No ghosts? That's like the no bitches meme. Like, no ghosts? No, nothing. You just fell down, twitched a little, and when you seemed sable, I carried you back here. How did you carry me? You are built like a twig. There's no muscles on this man. Did you drag me on the damn ground? There was no comma. Wh <laughs> <laughs> That's what really sounds like off stream. Sheesh. Sheesh. I'm sorry for twitching, jeez, Reese. I can't help but notice they, the artist for this game, has these characters move around so much. It is like incredible. I'm old, so I, oh yeah, my osteoporosis ate all my damn bones. Now I'm just meat. I'm just a big old pile of old meat. Uh, but you have a delicate constitution. Damn, that's what I was. That's what I was fucking asking. But you have a delicate constitution. What? It wasn't super far or anything. I just picked you up, picked you up and carried you. I might be sick a lot, but that doesn't mean I'm made of paper. You look like you're made of paper, bruh. I can still do things normal people can do. I'm sure I'll pay for it later. But I didn't want you to have to wake up in the musty hallway or in the morgue. Does Dr. Kelly know I'm here? No, I snuck you back into the house while she was busy in the medical storage room. Wow. Okay, I had... A vision. Yeah. Maybe the big piles of meat were the friends we made along the way. Wait. S yeah, no, let's keep it. Let's keep it like that. I had... Dot, dot, dot. 
A vision. Like a hallucination? I have those sometimes, too. Used to have them a lot as a teen. Always just weird little things, like my hands would look wrong, or my neck would seem too long, or the room would feel smaller. I think the carvings are trying to warn me about something. My family has dark secrets. I think these are visions of things that are a actually happened. They're making me very suspicious of my family. These carvings are clearly drilled in some big gas pocket that keeps giving me seizures and hallucinations. I trust Reese. He's some sort of Dracula, I think, but he seems like a really nice Dracula. And his vagina bones are always out, so you know you could trust him. Oh, SCP Wreckage! Oh my gosh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! How are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful night. Thanks for stopping on by. It's been a while. I hope you're having a really good day. Okay, and like a, re a really good month. I haven't streamed for so long. It's been 800 years. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? Everybody knows some spooky shit's going down, so I don't think anybody's gonna think I'm nuts if I say... I think these are visions of things that actually happened. Whoa. I wonder if you'd see anything else if you went back in there. Or if there are more around town. Maybe if you collect them all, you'll finally unravel whatever the big mystery is. Seems fun. Um, I don't think... I'm already at the doctor's. Why would he call an ambulance? Could be better. Seem to be suffering from vagina bone deficiency? You know what? SCP Red Mage, I am sending you all of my vagina bone magic dwaggy powers. This is not something a lot of people know about dragons, but we can bestow bones on people. You know? It's just... It just works. It might take a really long time for them to grow. I don't know. How long is the average human lifespan? I'm not really sure. But I, you will be getting vagina bones at some point. Trust me. Um, You should probably get going. Stella's still missing. I don't know if it's just going to pop on top of the bones you already have or integrate seamlessly. Those are not questions I have answers for. I'm just the bestower of the bones. <laughs> Last time a dragon bestowed bones on you, you need a fork left to lift them off of you. Okay, well, don't need to be suspicious. Um, still still missing, and the stone here finally stopped yelling at me. Um, so what now? I think I should get going. We should find Stella. I should probably get going. Stella's still missing, and the stone here finally stopped yelling at me. That might be a little tricky. The doc is on the warpath up there. I refuse to take my medicine, and she's not happy about it. But after I looked this up... There was no way I was going to take anything she gave me. She's been poisoning me for years! I went ahead and blocked my door so she can't get down here. Now we just have to wait her out. You... Oh my goodness. But why would your mom poison you? I don't know. But the internet says this is castor bean. It's used to make ricin, a super deadly poison that causes some of my exact symptoms. And death, usually. And the thing I can't figure out is whether she's been trying to kill me slowly, or if she's just, like, keeping me sick enough to be dependent on her. Either way, I don't think I ever had an illness. I think the illness was me growing up and becoming less easy to control. She sure found a cure for that. Yeah, why does... <laughs> is that not a thing your mom does? I thought that was just like a regular fa familial experience. Is bestowing bows the same as laying pipe? You asking sex questions in the Arlie Darkfire stream? Nasty. Disgusting. I will never lay pipe. <laughs> I won't even acknowledge it. Oh, I, I turned my head away from it. Ryzen is really bad. How are you not dead? I don't know. Maybe it's low enough doses or maybe I developed a tolerance. 
But I think the fact that I feel more and more alive by the minute is proof enough that she was keeping me sick. I don't even need solid evidence. I would never ask good questions. I see. He's a vampire. No sex questions in Arlie's wholesome PG Minecraft server. Exactly. We got kids in here. And they're me. Oh, th where's Chauncey? Where's my son? There. See? We got kids in here, okay? Fucking sickos. Keep that shit out of here. <laughs> um, no matter what, we should get out of this basement. You should be able to go to the cops, but a cops? No, a cab. No way. We're not going to any cops. Fuck that. We need to get you out of here. Who knows what she'll do when she finds out what you know. Where would we go? The only person I know who has a car is Kanika, and she's not answering her phone because she's in some sort of magically induced stupor. What is up with all these evil moms? What's up with all these sneaky moms running around brainwashing and poisoning their kids in this town? <clears throat> oh, thank you for the dwaggy mode. Okay, here we go. Haha, <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, no. Five gift subs and the toes come out. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Let me get a little closer to the screen. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for the dwaggy mode. Thank you for the redeem. Evil mom, that's your type, but not the child abuse type. I mean, it's a thin line, I think. The thin line from child abuse evil mom to like... Because I'm... Okay. Here... Hear me out. Mother Gothel is really hot. And is she a child abuser? Yeah. Would I let her beat the shit out of me? Also, yeah. So, you know what? I don't know if I really have standards or morals in this game. I don't think I, I, don't think I do. <laughs> Evil for your child, not evil to your child. <coughs> okay. I don't know anyone else. I don't have any other family to go to. I never even finished high school. <gasps> Reese can't read! When I get out of this house, I don't know how I can make sure I don't wind up right back down here. Oh, thank you for... <gasps> thank you, Ma Lilaps! Thank you, Lilap. I'm sorry. This is my first time saying her name out loud. Hi, Lilaps! Thank you so much for stopping on in. Here's a peanut for me, not. Thank you for the redeem. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. And hydration station. Nothing will quench my thirst for Mother Gothel, but we can try. Ah, delicious! What grade did I learn how to read? You can't just ask a girl that, okay? You can't ask a girl, well, when did you learn how to read, Harley? Honestly. Honestly. Hurtful. Incredibly hurtful. Uh, when I get out of this house, I don't know what, how I can make sure I don't wind up right back down here again. You're gonna stay with me! We can figure it out together. This one sounds... Kind of sensual. I don't want him to get the wrong idea. Um. At least you can tell you. Yeah, stay with me. I live in an internet cafe, dude. You're gonna love it here. There's as much hot water. <laughs> I didn't remember. <laughs> this game is good. I, uh, do live in an internet cafe, though, so, uh, keep expectations low. That's okay. It's still probably better than here. He smiles, his eyes distant as he imagines the possibility of such a life, undoubtedly for the first time. Thanks, Arlie Darkfire. You have no idea how much this offer means to me. Me- means to me. Yeah. But I guess we've still got to pass some time before we can get out of here. Uh, a distraction seems like a good idea. As you can probably tell, I'm getting a little jittery. Maybe it's the lack of poison in my system for the first time in years, or the fact that my whole perception of reality has been turned on its head. Probably a combo, or... Hear me out, Reese. 
You are currently in the process of morbine. That medicine was keeping you from morbine out, and you are going to morb harder and faster than you've ever morbed before. That is my, that's just my game theory. <laughs> <clears throat> it meant much to me. He's, he's good at morb. Look at him. That's a man on the verge of morbine. He says he's edging morbine right now. Any moment he could explode into a morb. <laughs> Morbification detected! It doesn't feel awful, to be honest. Would you like to draw dinner? A bath? Or me? <laughs> One. I don't want to fuck Reese. Um, I think he's gonna eat me. I think, well, um, you know, not in the way that you would want in a romantic encounter, you know. <laughs> so you're gonna get Morb in places you didn't even know you could get Morb. I hate Morb. It's rough. It's, it's coarse. It gets everywhere. Do whatever it is to kill time, preferably something to help me ignore my mounting anxiety. I'll go with whatever. But if your mom doesn't fall asleep, she'll fall asleep someday. Um, I'm chill with whatever. Freak me like one of your draw girls. <laughs> cool. I kind of only do two things, paint and watch movies. I'm too jittery to paint right now, especially since I'll probably be leaving this basement and everything in it behind in a couple hours. So, movies it is. Go ahead and get comfy. Pick something you might like. You know, I've been wanting to share Shino Chi death blood with someone for years. <laughs> That's me. Yo, they put me in the game. <gasps> I got the cameo. Let me know if he... Am I still laying down? I... Yo! Just anatomy! Thank you so much for joining me! We were just talking about anatomy! I hope you're having a wonderful night! Welcome... And thank you for becoming one of my precious old pals. Yeah, he's bony as fuck on account of him being a vampire. He's a fucking vampire, and I know I quit giving him bones. Listen, we're in the bone zone now. Let me know if it gets to be too much for you. I'm not a great judge of how other people will react to this sort of thing. I watch, but God, my reading is so bad right now. <coughs> Let me know if it gets to be too much for you. I'm not a great judge of how other people react to the sort of things that I watch, but I definitely don't want you to feel uncomfortable. Bro, you are like... hand on my leg? His, he is like hand on my leg. Of course, how am I not supposed to be not uncomfortable? This is a slow burn of a movie, but the dread it's managing to build is palpable in the room. Or maybe that's just how it feels down here all the time. What with the grisly paintings, lack of lighting, cinder block walls, and of course, the fact that the woman currently lurking upstairs had been poisoning her son since his teens. I see a couple of this director's other films, and they're all interesting, though this is probably the best introduction to his work. The way it jump cuts to seemingly unrelated TV show recordings and then win wind up tying back into the narrative adds a level of realism and depth to the world that I find really engrossing. It's found footage used to its fullest. This guy's a fucking nerd. This is what I do when I talk about scary movies. I finally watched Nope for the first time recently. That movie ruled. I don't really know if it was a, sc a scary movie, but it was fun and I really liked it. I can't believe I'll be able to just do things from here on out. You can't fucking make this stuff up. This man has fame. 
wings. He's gonna sink them into my soft, delicate grandma flesh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Like, watch movies with another person. Oh, he's looking creepier and creepier by the moment. Or talk to people, ever. You can hear the difference in energy now that Reese hasn't had his daily dose of poison. He's uncharacteristically chatty, clearly not used to talking to another person, let alone when he has the energy to carry on long conversations. No. Um... <laughs> Ignore him and watch a movie? Hey, shut the fuck up, extrovert! Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to watch a movie here! Uh, I'm glad you'll be able to have a social life. And I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah, they were trying to nerf him. He smiles to himself. It's still hard to imagine, hard to believe after all these years alone, that that's going to be my reality. <laughs> This, this game's good. A man on the screen yells portents of doom into the camera, trailing off into a wordless scream. The plot is really heating up. Hold on, I want to check something. Okay. I thought there might be something under the stairs there. I got weird vibes. Each shot is an additional morb. He's got so many morbs in his system right now. Reminder to everyone, this is why you gotta eat plenty of garlic. Yeah, you never know. When you're going to become a vampire because your mom stopped poisoning you, you know? Touchy vibes. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not interested in getting fucking murdered tonight. Thank you for the peanut for me, not Dark Nightwing Phoenix. Here we go. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I forgot that I normally shake my peanut jar before this. Here we go. Peanut docky moss. Oh. Thank you, Cat Uber Mona. Thank you for increasing my viewer retention. Everybody, please enjoy the soothing gameplay. <clears throat> I love that there are all these distinct sort of vignettes, little pockets of horror that affect a small number of people, and only once you see how they fit together can you realize some fundamental horror within the universe. And then it sees you back. Incredible! Cosmic horror in the truest sense. Reese is becoming very animated. It's probably safe to assume that he's dealing with a lot of extra adrenaline right now, what with his entire reality turning out to be a lie. But he's also talking over the movie. <laughs> Ooh, Morbius, please hold me. I'm scared. Ooh, please. <laughs> Oh, this is the first time you see Love Redeem? <laughs> I'm glad you like it, TV Head. <laughs> I want to keep adding more of them, but I keep, I keep, the thing is, the second I stop streaming, I forget everything. It's all out the goddamn window. So, <laughs> so eventually I will remember to make more of those. So it goes out like it's a random one that happens every time. Reese, are you feeling okay? You know, I think I better get going. Talking to our movies is fine. Let him. He's just, I mean, he's just excited. Yeah, I want to add soap cutting. I want to add like a uh, clay cracking or slime videos. Oh, the possibilities are at least in the tens. Sorry if I'm talking a lot. I'm just jittery. It's a little terrifying to think that she's up there right now. There's a knock on the window. You're ruining my night with my good friend, Morbius! Get the fuck out of here! Only Darkfire. Don't get any closer to that thing. It's time to go home. The voice. I, I know that voice. Is that who's been following you around? Without another word, Wayne starts pounding on the window. Good luck, freak! That glass is shatterproof! Enemies upstairs, enemies upside, we're surrounded. Even if I get out of this house, I won't be safe. You won't be safe. What do you mean? Wait, isn't it going to hurt you? Hasn't hurt anyone? Why did he call you that thing? You're being weird, man. Thingy, my... I don't need you to protect me. 
Ah. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna try what do you mean? <clears throat> what do you mean? Wayne isn't gonna hurt you. He's my little scrunkly. He's never hurt a fly. Yes, he will. He's furious with me. Can't you hear it? But I'm not weak anymore. Oh my god. Ugh, he's about to morph. Ugh, I'm scared. <laughs> I can fight back. I don't have to cower in fear for people who want to hurt me. I can protect both of us, Arlie Darkfire. Wayne, get out of here! Can you see this man is Morbin? Can we see his little ass? Oh no, he's just twisted that way. <laughs> Maybe we can see his little twink ass. The window shatters! <clears throat> Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, this is much worse than I thought it would be. This is much worse than I thought it would be. As Reese tears at his clothes, paint bubbles out from the canvases, his ghoulish figures peeling themselves out of their two-dimensional worlds, invading yours, crawling up the walls. Grab my hand, I'll pull you out. Leave us alone! Kind of fucks. He's hotter now. <laughs> He's way hotter than he was before. <laughs> In a surge of violence, the change that has been brewing inside Reese finally comes. Dun -na -na, dun -na -na, dun. As it manifests, the broken basement window is sealed off and Wayne along with it. You know what? I don't think he's gonna hurt me. That grill is fucked up. That's true, it is kind of... Well? You know what? Let's not judge a mouth before we know what it can do, okay? Mazoon! Thank you so much for 11 months! Oh my goodness gracious! Thank you for supporting my channel! I really appreciate it! I hope you're having a wonderful night! I am very excited for fluffy stuff later tonight. I'm gonna stay where I am! I think he's probably like a T-Rex from one of them Jurassic Park movies. And he probably can't see me no more if I stop moving, you know? We aren't safe, but I feel strong now. I think I can save us. Stay here. I'll be right back. I just have to deal with the dog. Oh, no! Oh, no, he's <laughs> Eat his mom! Ah! Okay. Reese storms up the stairs, leaving you with his smears. Tabitha. Best to follow Reese and see how things play out. Try to warn Dr. Kelly. I mean, listen. I could save Kelly's life. Just hear me out. I could save Dr. Kelly's life. But it's, like, really awkward to, like, hype up Reese and be like, yeah, man, fight the power, and then immediately, like, warn his mom that he's gonna kill her or whatever. It's, like, really uncomfortable for me. I feel like it's a no-win situation. <laughs> so I don't really want to. Um, well, I guess if it's her whole life. I like the smears. I think they're kind of cute. They got character. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Let him go. <laughs> Just Anatomy, have you not played this yet? It is so good. I cannot stress enough how cool this game is. Okay. You're not sure who to help. Best to follow Reese and see how things play out. Try to leave. Wait for Reese in the basement. I kind of... I don't think... I don't think there's any saving Dr. Kelly at this point. So I kind of just want to see her get eaten. 
I think it would be a cool visual. <laughs> you make your way to the doors that beckon you to yesterday. All intrigue now washed away. You know where it leads, and you know what secrets the stone that lurked in the forgotten basement of the clinic had to share with you. Now the clinic holds new horror. What would Dustin do? Dustin would play dead. Dustin would play dead because he's a possum. He's a possum. He's not, he's not a brave man. He's just a baby. Of course not. Not like that. Not in a sexual way. That would be incest. And I'm not about that life. <laughs> I'm not the Alabama dragon. I'm the... <laughs> Scarlet all stream are you actually caught so you gotta try to infer what's happening? Just call it something else. <laughs> okay. Just gonna barber that guy. Alright, somewhere beyond the narrow hallway, leading from the house proper into the doctor's office, there is a monster preparing to do something unthinkable. Okay, well when you put it like that, now I feel guilty I didn't try to stop her demise. Jesus! You grasp the handle and turn. She's got a gun! Am I, am I, are my bones good enough? I'm an old person now. I'm old. Do you think my knees can handle ducking? She's gonna shoot me in the fucking face! I'm gonna duck. You do what she says, ducking out of the way. She shoots. The gun isn't very loud. There's only a pop as the projectile leaves the barrel whizzing through the air. You turn to see a dart embedded in Reese's chest. He pulls the tranquilizer dart from between his ribs, heaving heavy breaths as the drug courses through his system. God, he's so cool. <clears throat> he looks like one of those awesome Oni masks. You're gonna have to try harder than that, you b No, how did you... As if you could hope to stop me... Oh wait, that's Wayne. As if you could hope to stop me, you pathetic waste of flesh. Before Wayne takes another step down the stairs, paint flows out between the cracks in the wood. Reese's panic, pulling in a mob of furious smears to hold his enemies in place. The artist darts away, but the smears continue their work in his absence. Dr. Kelly makes her escape down the hallway, and Wayne is overcome, glued in place at the top of the stairs by stiffening globs of paint. Well, I gotta go. And now I recognize that I could have tried a little harder, so I feel guilty. We'll run after Dr. Kelly. <laughs> Classic. You run forward, braving the onslaught off the smears, dodging them as best you can as you try to see where Dr. Kelly went. The door in front of you is smothered in paint. Hey! Dr. Kelly's voice crackles out of some unseen speaker. You! Arlie! I'm stuck in the safe room. I can't help you from here, but you can help the both of us. I can't believe he lived! What kind of fucking moron would say this? Like, obviously, it was to stop him from becoming a vampire. What the hell is your son, ma'am? 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 Could you please tell me why your son is like that? I wish I knew. He was fine until he hit puberty. Everyone said raising a teen was going to be a bitch, but they don't know the half of it. That's a good one-liner, Dr. Kelly. I need you to get to the medical storage room. I'll give you further instructions when you're there. I don't want to kill Reese. That's, he's like a little scrunkly. He's just a little guy. His only sin was being a Morbius. It's not his fault. You turn back around and head to the medical storage room. I'm here. Great! Now listen to me! I need you to use the black tape key to get into the cabinet and bring me the elephant tranquilizers! I don't know if I can, but okay, I'm gonna get eaten. Oh no, I should never have sided with Dr. Kelly. 
It's a bottle labeled Carafinitil. Bear tranquilizers clearly aren't going to cut it anymore. Oh, my God. Okay, I take it back. He's not hot anymore. Is He looks too much like a horse now. Nay! <laughs> The unforgivable sin of being a scrunkled Morbius, truly. She doesn't need to save anyone. She just wants a really great cocktail before she goes. Yeah, one last one for the road, baby. Early Darkfire, you don't have to do anything, she says. I'm not going to hurt anybody else. Just her. If I don't, you and I both know she's just going to shoot me full of elephant tranquilizers. Did I hear that right? Can you imagine the head from this guy? <laughs> yeah, all his vagina bones shifted to his face. He's got a case of the wandering bones. And shove me back down in that basement, or maybe someplace even worse, and keep killing me every day for the rest of my miserable existence. I feel amazing right now. Better than I've ever felt in my life. I'm not dangerous. She's just scared because she knows she has to finally pay for what she's taken from me. I mean, he does kind of have a point. It doesn't seem like he would uh, normally... Yeah, he seems pretty lucid for an out-of-control monster. I don't feel <laughs> Should we get along? Yeah. Can we can't you two just get No, that's a that's such a bad thing to ask. He's been like from his perspective, he has been abused and and sequestered and stopped from becoming his true self his entire life, which is technically true. I mean, he's scary, but is he evil? I don't know. From his perspective, it's the Jedi that are evil. <laughs> Maybe Wayne knows what to do. Yeah, Wayne, do you know how to make decisions? Wayne, help me. He's a little tied up at the moment. Not anymore. <laughs> Look at this face! He's pogging! Reese cries out in pain. What the hell did you do to my shoulder? You see, for the briefest instant, something coming out of Wayne's sleeve. Just a flash of pale yellow, and then it's gone. Slithering back into Wayne's clothes. <gasps> He's got a jacket snake. I'll handle it. Try to get somewhere safe until then. I don't really think we're in danger. I think the only danger we're in is like awkward social situation of do I let this guy kill his mom? If we think of this. <laughs> Happy Pride, everyone. Maybe Wayne knows what to do. Wayne is king in yellow confirmed. Um, Wayne is a hentai antagonist. He, we can't see his face, that's true. But I trust him. He's got kind eyes glowing underneath that veil. Quick, grab the tranquilizers and head to the safe room. There's no option not to uh, head to the safe room. Okay, we'll grab the tranquilizers. They're easy to find, Mark, with a small square of black tape to match a key. She's certainly an organized woman. You make your way out of the medical storage room and back to the hallway where Dr. Kelly disappeared. As you approach, Dr. Kelly heaves open the door, slowly breaking apart the mass of paint, sealing it shut. Me. Also me. Hurry! I don't think I can keep it open for long! You just slip past her into the safe room. She shuts the door quickly. The one of the little smears managed to slip past her. Squanch. She stops on it. Paint viscera splatters across the cement floor. It sounds like Reese and your friend are still fighting. 
We probably have a few minutes before he gets here. You didn't walk me to the door after my exam earlier. You must have known I might have gone looking for something. Why didn't you make me leave? That's a good, that, good question. You didn't walk me to the door after my exam earlier. She sighs. There's something about keeping a secret for so long. It makes you paranoid. It makes you do things you know are objectively wrong just to maintain the illusion of your life. It isolates you. At some point, you just don't want to be alone anymore, whether you realize it or not. So you get sloppy. You leave things around you shouldn't. Because that destructive little part of you wants to test the limits of how obvious you can get before someone is able to put two and two together. I'm not blind. I can see that things are happening in Scarlet Hollow. Unusual things. I guess subconsciously, I must have decided if there was ever a time to let someone else in, it would be now. I'm kind of feeling a tender moment here. Is there a flirt? <clears throat> While you're at it, any other secrets that you're keeping? Maybe. If we both survive, I might decide to share a few more. If you don't go tattling anybody. Yeah, I do like her. She's warm. I'm warming up to her. What's the game plan? Both short and long term. Well, I pump him full of elephant tranquilizers, then I lock him in here. Then I somehow convince him to see things from my perspective. Then we all live happily ever after. Has that worked? Just gonna lock him away. There should be some other way to make him feel trapped. Just kill him. I saw <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. Well, I mean, we're touching butts out. Hello, a mute Willy. How are you doing? Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, I think it is a good idea. She also knows how to use a gun. There has to be some other way. It's just going to make him feel trapped. It is. Especially since I'll have to isolate him even more now than he knows what's going on. He's going to hate me. But you got to work with what you're given. And what I've been given is an ethical dilemma where I either let my son kill me, freeing him to go out and kill others, or imprison him for the rest of his life and force feed him poison to keep him controllable. Or the third option. Kill him. I've decided which outcome I can live with. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is the panic room. I don't need to ask. Let's talk Reese. Yeah, I bet you have some questions. Go ahead. I have nothing left to hide. What is he? At first, I thought he was some kind of werewolf. But if he is, he doesn't follow any kind of full moon rules or anything. Silver doesn't do shit to him. And you've seen what he looks like. It's just weird. Wow. Okay. Kind of judgy. I almost wish I could examine him while he's fully transformed. I'd be fascinated to know what happens to him or how his body does it, but he seems pretty helping on ripping my throat out, so I guess I'll just have that to remain a mystery. Um, yeah, when did you find out? A little after he had his puberty. He had all the unusual changes, all the usual changes, then a few extra. Thickened nails, sharp teeth. Elfish ears? I figured he might have some kind of genetic disorder. Had him checked out a few specialists, but there was nothing obviously wrong with him. Then we had an argument, and he changed right in front of me. It was nothing like what he is now. Just a couple inches and some facial abnormalities, enough to be noticeable. I was scared. He could see that, and he stopped. I thought it was a one-off, or maybe a hallucination? But the second time, it wasn't as subtle, and it didn't go away as easy. That's when I knew for sure that this was something beyond my realm of expertise. Give me a sec. My screen dimmer turned on. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Why did you start poisoning him? Dr. Kelly sighs. Can we stop calling it poison? Yes, it's technically poison, but the act of me giving him poison was not me poisoning him. I was medicating his illness. It started when he was around 15. I've been giving him increasingly high doses of clonopin, but his body kept adapting and his symptoms would come back, especially if we ever fought. I couldn't keep ordering all those drugs. It was already suspicious, and I could risk losing my license, especially if anyone ever found out what I was really using them for. Someone approached me with a solution. I took it. 
And I've been dealing with the emotional and mental consequences of that decision ever since. It's that fucking wick. It is that fucking sexy wick. Ooh. <clears throat> How do you know he's dangerous? Well, he wants to murder me, so that's clue number one. It's not like he's a usually a violent kid, but mostly just sad. And every now and then we butt heads. And that's usually when this side of him comes out. Imagine if this happens any time he gets frustrated with anyone. Imagine if he gets road rage one day, turns into a 12-foot-tall monster with a million teeth and rips somebody apart in the middle of a major metropolitan area. Yeah, he's dangerous. <clears throat> that doesn't mean he's dangerous. Why not? Has he's been kind to me. What you're doing is difficult, but it's necessary. I can fix him! Don't you think that it might be a self-fulfilling prophecy? <laughs> oh shit, I pissed her off. Oh, don't preach to me. He's a sweet kid most of the time, absolutely. And Ten Bunny was sweet to the people he picked off the side of the road. Didn't mean he didn't go ahead and slaughter them anyway. I know what my son is capable of, so it's my job to make sure he doesn't hurt anybody. Okay. Was his dad similar? <clears throat> a strange little smile creeps onto Dr. Kelly's face. I wish I knew. Reese just kind of happened. I wasn't seeing anyone, and I just woke up pregnant one day. I know how impossible that sounds. I'm a doctor for cry- Immaculate Werewolf Conception! I've been having these weird dreams. Almost like sleep paralysis episodes. <laughs> Ma'am? Did you fuck your sleep paralysis demon? Yeah, there is there is a definite lack of consent in being paralyzed. Poor Dr. Kelly. Oh, big content warning. You don't fuck yours. <laughs> Not normally. I've only ever had one though, and it wasn't particularly uh sexy. Romantic sleep paralysis episodes. They were actually kind of sweet. But they were just dreams. But then, all of a sudden, my period stopped. I got morning sickness, and roughly nine months later, Reese. Uh, you know what? Let's leave it at that. Sit in silence and wait. You and Dr. Kelly sit in silence and wait for her son to make his way to you. The sound of distant breaking glass cuts through the silence of the clinic outside the safe room. Shit, this might be game time. Dr. Kelly opens the, the door. Blah, 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 blah. Dr. Kelly opens the door. The two of you stare out into the hallway. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, no! Reese! Where's Reese's dad? Excuse me, sir. Restrain your son! Is this what you were so afraid of? Hand over the tranquilizers. This is our shot. This is my worst nightmare. Here, give you the tranquil. I hand the Dr. Kelly the tranquilizer darts. Dr. Kelly quickly loads them into her gun, leveling the barrel at her son. Aww, poor Reese. Ah, no, this is what I didn't want! Ah! <laughs> the, he hates me now! Early dark fire. I thought we were in this together. Boy. Thank God. Dr. Kelly sighs heavily, staring down at the warped figure of her son. I can drag him into the safe room on my own. I'll meet you at the front when I'm done. All right, good luck. Bye-bye. Honestly, I think I avoided the bad end. I don't know. I don't know if there's any good end for Reese. This poor kid. You return to the entrance of the clinic. Everything is quiet now. Only streaks of paint where Reese's minions had once roiled out of the cracks in the wood. I got an achievement. It says keeping the status quo. It doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good at all. I hope you understand this needs to stay between us. I don't care how much you feel like you need to share what just happened with other people. 
the more people know about this, the more trouble it is for me and for him. I don't need any more well-intentioned escape plans. Um. <laughs> Do I want to turn this romantic? Sure. I, yeah, well, you know what? Maybe I could be Reese's new dad. Father's Day is coming up. I can fix him. You know, we could be in this together, Doc. You don't have to be alone anymore. I also agree that he deserves the benefit of the doubt. That's why I feel so bad about this. It's Joan. We got her first name! Okay, let's go. As long as this stays between us, you can come around anytime you like. I'll probably need some occasional help. As much as I'd love to stand around chatting, I have to get to work. Gotta clean this place as best I can before tomorrow. And you should probably get home. It's dark. I'm sure your cousin is worried about you. Is this too fast? No, 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 no. We're trauma bonded. We're trauma bonded. I can, I can do a hug. You put your arms out for a hug. Okay, guess I'll kill myself. Damn. All right. Jesus. Okay. Wow. I regret helping you. You jerk! <laughs> it's a nightmare! The scariest part about this game is the social stuff. <laughs> it closes behind you. The night is hardly warm compared to the chill of the day. Crickets singing quietly in the sleepy little neighborhood. Everything that happened in the clinic feels almost like a dream. Now that it's over, you realize how little it meshes with your understanding of the world. Yeah, let's go home. Sir Pratima, thank you! <laughs> Use Reese's a stepping stone to bestow bones. Listen, I'm just saying he got way more bones when I get got into contact with him. It, there is pr the proof is in the pudding. He clearly had more bones. It's time to go home, but before you can get far, you're interrupted by the sound of panting and the telltale jingling of dog tags. It's the militia! They've poured out over the woods to stand before you on the road. You were, lo you were looking for Gretchen, weren't you? We found her and her person. They're by the side of the road a little ways through the woods. They're both fine, but the human wouldn't leave when we tried to make her, and Gretchen insisted on sticking by her side, so we'll have to take you to them. Hopefully you can use your people words to get them to go someplace safe. The woods are crawling with those awful creatures. It's not safe anymore. Not even for a human. You are very good dogs. Lead the way. Yes, we are good dogs. Hear that, Scraps? I'm not in it for the accolades, Daisy. I just do it to help those who need it. Wow, I love this game. You let the dogs lead you into the wilderness, following on their heels as they take you to the Stella's hideaway. Before long, the trees thin, and you find yourself on a steep hill by a two-laned road lined on one side by sheer rock. And there, sitting on a log, staring mournfully out at the asphalt, is Stella. There they are. Keep them safe. Be seeing you, speaker. You sit on the log beside Stella. Arlie, that ghost really did a number on you. You don't, you don't look so good either. I thought, do I look that bad? I thought I was kind of distinguished. You look extremely distinguished. I was just surprised is all. Should probably know about what happened today. Remain silent, hoping still opens up. <sighs> this is my normal playbook. I don't want to push her too far. I mean, she's already going through a lot, it seems. You remain silent, hoping Stella opens up. Come on, let's just get back to town. I know that, Stretch. It's the time to go home, Stretch. Wait, that's Gretchen. I, I fucked up again. She didn't open up. 
I know that stretch. It's the time to go home stretch. Thank the Lord. I'll be sleeping in my own bed tonight. Thank you, Arlie Darkfire, for talking sense into this girl. Okay. She doesn't need to hear about this tonight. I would definitely be betraying the trust of that sexy evil doctor. But I think telling her no matter what is really important. I don't know. She doesn't need to hear about this tonight. You keep the events that transpired at the clinic to yourself. At least for now. Stella scoops Gretchen up into her arms, and the three of you walk back to town in silence. Guess I'll see you tomorrow. She gives you a tired wave before retreating into her house. Ah! Hey, sexy, what's up? Time for you to go home, too. He appears, as if out of nowhere, clothes streak with what first looks like blood and gore, but you quickly realize it's paint, evidence of his altercation with Reese. I'll walk you. Um... You know what? I'm an elderly little lady. I'm just gonna let him walk me home. I'm a Mima now. Uh, let him walk me home, shall we? Wayne walks just ahead of you in near complete silence. Ah, uh, why are you following me around? Why not Stella or Kanika or Sybil? Why not Tabitha? Because you're special. Oh, okay, that's, that's a lot. Okay, I'm glad you're okay. Seems like Reese gave you a run for your money. I thought you might have done something bad to Stella. I didn't have to. She didn't have it in her to stand by your side. Remember that. She won't be there if you need her. Wow, okay. Um... Flirt. <laughs> You know what? We pop the top on this flirt lid. Why not? I'm pretty sure he's a skeleton under there. But you guys know what I just said about bones. <laughs> I want you! No, 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 no. Try and hold his hand! Oh my god, this is so embarrassing! Just say out loud. <laughs> flirt with Wayne! Yeah, we'll be a little cocky. Just can't stay away, can you? You must really like me. I do, and I'm concerned for you. I want to make sure someone is always looking out for you. Think of me as something of a guardian angel, if you like. Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this? You simply are. Do, not, do you not feel the ties that bind us? They are unbreakable. Um... I'm glad you're okay. I thought Reese might have mauled you. Wayne emits a strange kind of coughing sound. You realize he's laughing. He managed to catch me off guard. Those constructs of his were an interesting little trick. But that's all they were. Uh, are you going to yell at me? You are free to make your own decision. And those decisions have been made. I know that something pulls at you, and I know that now you cannot stop it until your task is finished. I'll keep you safe while you do what you must. Okay, yay! Oswald! Thank you so much for the resubscription! I hope you're having a wonderful night! How is it going? We're continuing on in silence. Back to the estate. Look at him peeking out over the side. Kawaii. I'm sure we'll see each other tomorrow. You should try to spend some time in that old building before you head to town. Tabitha won't be around. Too busy of the mines. Forbidden places won't be forbidden without her there to stop you. And you might be surprised at what you find. Until then, sleep well. Do you think that's the guy who ain't got no legs? Wayne? He disappears into the underbrush. Tabitha's gonna yell at us. The estate feels empty. Wind howling through its abandoned halls. The very foundation's cracking beneath you. Your cousin must have already gone to bed. 
Exhausted beyond belief, you stumble into your room and collapse onto the bed. The damp smell of the mattress is starting to become almost welcoming, a sign that now daily horrors of Scarlet Hollow are finally behind you, at least until the sun inevitably rises once again. You close your eyes, your exhausted body succumbing to sleep almost immediately. As you drift off, you think of Reese, trapped in that tiny windowless room, all of his greatest fears realized, his body no longer his own, but you stopped him from killing Dr. Kelly. The world, at least for now, is protected from him. And then you think of nothing. This is the end of episode four. Follow us on social media. Wow! Yay! I unlocked hardcore mode! We should do one of those. We should do a hardcore run. Please save your game now. Okay, I would like to save my my Bibio game. <clears throat> and I think that's it for tonight. I know this was a short stream and uh for my first one back in a hot minute, but I hope everybody had a lot of fun. I have fluffy brush commentary stuff to do. Uh we're organizing for the next season. So I don't want to miss that. Uh let's find somebody to go raid. Let's find somebody to go hang out with. Who's a precious old pal that we can go spend our time with? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me go on my favorite website, Twitch.tv. Where are you? <laughs> yes, you. Can use your Prime sub to sub to your favorite streamer for free. It's all true. <laughs> Boomba's playing Dragon Quest. Perfect. Literally perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better raid, bud. All right, everybody. Legend of Boomba. It is a... Oh, shoot, it stopped. Legend of Boomba. Come on, come on, Arlie. Let's see, it's a... Awkward hug denied raid. <gasps> Let's go ball! And we're gonna use Wigglies. And a Mama Mia, because Mama Mia, we got shot down. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. I'll see you guys later tomorrow night. I'm going to be doing... Oh, I'm going to play Amanda the Adventurer on here. I'm going to play Amanda uh, uh, the Adventurer. So come hang out with me and get a little spooked. I'm going to see if I can get my heart rate monitor set up. We are rating in 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good Bobo and good night, O Pal Nation. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.